Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Devita with the Medium of the Light Tarot. Taurus, I am back with you for another love reading. This is Dame Darcy's Mermaid deck. Now, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, why welcome back, my friend. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now, I'm a psychic medium, so these do go very, very deep. So if this one doesn't resonate with you, go check out my playlist for other Taurus readings. Don't worry about if they're dated or not. Because Spirit has a sneaky way of making these timeless. Okay, so this is you, this is them, this is the storyline, and this is the overall. Now I'm gonna turn on a little bit more light here. So you have the Knight of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the World. Your person has the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like you're wanting to offer love. You're wanting to go towards your person. But there is this new perspective that you've gained. And I'm feeling like you want it all. It's like a... It's almost like your mind was limited somehow, because especially here with the nine of um, swords here, there was some kind of limiting thinking, and now you're like, well, it's almost like an expansion of thought is what I'm hearing. So with this knight of cups, it comes the six of cups. Yeah, so you've really realized, you know, that this is a high-level twin flame soulmate connection coming from the past or coming from a past life. So maybe you had an epiphany about that. And then with this hanged man comes the five of cups. I'm almost feeling like with the hanged man, it's like there was a decision that was made. And then, you know, there was heartbreak that ensued, but there's still this love and it's like a, a realization. Yeah, here's the second reference here to Twin Flame Soulmate. So it's like, I don't, I'm getting the feeling of like, not knowing the gravity of the situation until it was too late or until some drama ensued. So with your person here with the Three of Wands comes the Six of Pentacles. You know, and it's interesting because it's your person's waiting for their ship to come in, and two, like flip the storyline as it reads. You know, they're waiting for their ships to come in and here comes the ship. Yeah, I definitely feel like there was some kind of a, a realization after the fact or after some drama. So with the Page of Swords here comes the Eight of Cups. You have the Five of Cups, they have the Eight of Cups. So it's like looking over their shoulder and, you know, they might have been the one to walk away, whatever this argument was about, whatever ended this situation. You know, and two, they've got the three of wands here and the two of wands. Yeah, this is, so, this is such an interesting read, Taurus. It looks like to me that both of you are like, oh, fine, forget it. I don't care anyway. And then both of you were like, oh, wait, um, maybe I was wrong. So if you're feeling that way, your person's feeling that way too, because here comes the nine of cups, you know, looking to the future and then waiting for their ships to come in. And here it is. So with the full card comes the king of swords you know, wanting a new start. I 
but being stoic and stubborn. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm totally being, you know, seeing it like as a telenovela or a soap opera here in the States where it's like, you know, oh, I loved you, but now love is lost and I will stand here in agony and pretend like I don't care. You know, and that's the energy that's coming forth here with the King of Cups comes the Eight of Wands. So, you know, and I think you guys are both mirroring in this situation where it's a King of Cups, Eight of Wands, wanting to talk. And then with this Fool card, wanting a new start, but being stubborn to do so. So then here comes with the Page of Cups, you know, wanting to offer that cup. Here comes the Queen of Pentacles. Because somebody needs to take the reins here. Seems to me that someone's going to have to come forth and go, you know, I'm kind of thinking differently about this. But then who's it going to be? Because I feel that both of you are like, no, they've got to. There's a lot of ego involved here. You know, and here's the Six of Swords. Wanting to go into calmer water. You know, because nobody, you both don't want to go through this dark night of the soul. I mean, there's nothing wrong with going through a dark night of the soul as long as it's productive and has some learning and growing, you know, that's associated with it. But which cards do you want now? Okay. Sorry, I was talking to the guides, not you. You're like, who the hell is she talking to? <laughs> House. Yeah, you guys need to get your house in order. There's, you guys, for some of you, you might even be married. Or oddly enough, some of you might be in a third party. But on the overall, it's like, what I'm hearing from the guides here is, you guys need to get your house in order. You know, open the windows, let all the, stare, the stale air out. I just feel like there's a lot of being stuck in the mud. Now here's another one of waiting for one's ship to come in. And then here's another person reading while they're waiting. And granted, it says merchant and scholar, but what are they both, you know, doing? They're sitting idle, or at least it looks like it for the moment, right? Okay, so we're going to need to figure out how to move this forward. So if this is resonating with you, please make sure you give this a thumbs up. And um, subscribe if you haven't already, because when you do the thumbs up, it helps other Tauruses. You know, spreads it out to the algorithm so they go, oh, okay, people want to see it. And then it'll be presented to those who need to hear this. Let your friends help you. For the more masculine, I don't think they're really expressing things. Even, even for the, um, the more feminine energy, it's just, you guys are so freaking stubborn. It's killing me here. Love yourself first. You know, so maybe that's the answer is, you know, really, sorry about that noise. Um, you know, loving yourself first, showing yourself that, you know, you don't have to be so stubborn. You don't have to be so, you know, overly protective. Like even that noise outside, it's like, okay, we're warning you. There's a warning sign. You need to loosen things up. Calling in your soulmate, your powers, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you come to, <laughs> I can't even talk, sorry. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, it's like you, call, you called each other in. It was some kind of a, like, well, I don't think you're that great either. And then you guys both walk away and you're like, oh, shit. I called in my soulmate and, and there they were. And now, you know, so there's a, there's a little bit of backtracking that needs to happen here. It's a freaking lootly there needs to be. Now, guides, what else here? 
It is safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. You can't really say anything better than that, right? Oh, you can see my kitty. There's a kitty. That's Riley. Say hi, Riles. In true kitty cat style. He's like, fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you called them in. Some, somebody's going to need to, you know, kind of let go of the pride. Because I, both of you are feeling the same way. Same way, peeps. Come on. Who's it going to be? You know, and I feel like with this particular card, you know, some, probably both of you, since you're marrying each other, it's like, oh, I'll just go to work. It's all good. I'll focus on work. No. This particular message is to take the chance. Take the chance. Reach out. Because if you don't find out, like I said, the whole energy of the telenovela and the, you know, the soap opera where they're like, turn away, like, no, I don't love you. Come on. <laughs> I love these readings where I act like a dork. You know, this is the second card of the Five of Pentacles. They're trying to tell you. You know, what I'm hearing too is like, because you're like, well, what if I go in and say something and they're still like, I don't, I still don't care. Even if that was, it's going to jar something within them. So they're going to have to come forward too. It might not be at the same time as you. But it's like, who's going to be the brave one? You know, because both of you are left out here in the cold. And then there's, let's say this is you. Here's the door. Here's the lock. Here's the key. You got everything you need right here. You know, of course, this is free will. You do as you choose. But what I'm gathering here is that if you choose to ignore the signs, you know, you're, you're going to be here winding up a storm in a corner. And that'll be more on your inner, in your inner world. Because I feel that you can move on quickly. Now, what is this about? Oh, okay. Because they're saying... There's this Queen of Pentacles. Well, here you are. The King of Pentacles. And I don't know why they're making me talk like this, but they're, they're probably because they've been nagging you to death. Like, get a hold of them, get a hold of them, do something, do some action, and you haven't been doing it. Well, here you are. It took some rando tarot reader to, to get you to see. And then what's on the bottom of the deck? The Ten of Pentacles. So there's the king and queen, divine counterparts, the ten of pentacles, the happy home, abundant life. It's all here waiting for you, peeps. Somebody's got to, you know, make the effort. Oh my gosh, you just can't even make this any better. The lover's card. And this particular one is... You know, like because of the flame, you know, behind it. To me, this is kind of like a very much a twin flame soulmate, a more higher exalted one, especially when you've got the king and queen of pentacles here. You know, this is what's available. But somebody has to take the chance and possibly lose face. You know, because if this is that twin flame soulmate connection, of course you guys are triggering each other. That's par for the course. Buckle up, buttercup. All right. Guys, anything else? They're saying if you're refusing and you don't want to be the one to reach out, then they would prefer that you start doing more of your healing because somebody's going to have to make a move here. And, you know, if you're not willing to do it right now or tomorrow, do your healing in the meantime because it will make things easier when you guys figure out how to pull your heads out. All right. Sorry to be so harshy harsh, but you know, it is what it is. You come here for the truth and I'm going to hand it to you. So, 
All right, my Tauruses, I hope that this was helpful and I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light. Bye-bye.